share my screen. All right, hello everyone. So um, my name is Miriam um, and I'm here with Laurel, Nate, Shinjin, Sara, and we worked under Yorgi for this project. And the main goal of this project was to identify clusters in their distribution of nutrients across a certain location. And we wanted to make sure that we narrowed the depth um, to zero to 300 meters below surface level because we noticed that there were some short-term changes um, in this like given region. Um, and our other goals were to identify patterns between the clusters of nutrients, um, chlorophyll concentrations, and the species of phytoplankton that might be present in the area and just tie in any connection between the nutrient profiles to the chlorophyll's profiles. Um, and this is just an overview of the steps that we took in this pro project um, and the different um, types of analysis that we did. And this is what we're gonna walk you through in the rest of our presentation. So the first uh, graph, set of graphs that we made the vertical nutrient profiles, um, nitrate, phosphorus, silicate, temperature, salinity, oxygen, and chlorophyll. Um, and here you can see how some here, nitrate, phosphate, phosphorus, and silicate all kind of have similar patterns, whereas temperature decreases with depth. Um, and how chlorophyll kind of has this vertical bell shape, which I found interesting. Okay, so we uh, we took the these nutrients and temperature, salinity, and oxygen, and did a dimensional reduction using PCA, and then we used those uh, principal components as features in a Gaussian mixture model uh, <clears throat> to do a clustering analysis. And so here's just a snippet of the code, uh, and we use the Gaussian mixture. Uh, function in the sklearn package in uh, Python. And uh, down here, this plot is just showing the, the two principal, first two principal components and the colors are the, um, the different clusters. Um, and we determined that five was an appropriate number of clusters uh, based on looking at the um, Bayesian information criteria, VIC, and we looked at um, number of classes um, and the BIC for each and five seemed to be just about right. Um, and so we also looked at, um, we use the GMM on the raw data um, and to see how that compared to if we did it, um, if we use the principal components as features. Um, and so we, uh, these are two plots here that show um, two dimensions, um, uh, the high dimensional data reduced to two dimensions using the TSNE uh, package um, in Python. And so uh, what you can see here is the, the raw data was not um, isolating the, the clusters as clearly as if you do a PCA, um, they're much more distinct. And here, uh, next one, uh, yeah. Here it's the probability density function for all clarify amounts in our data set. And different color in indicates a different cluster from the Gaussian mixture model. There is actually something uh, we can obtain from this graph. Like the orange cluster is very different from the red one and some the, with the larger spread and the orange one have the higher amounts. The rest of the three we seeing the Middle part is blue, green, and purple. These three uh, almost looks very similar, but they still can't give out the motiva motivation to say the supervised learning part would do the next step. And final step we achieved in Ocean Hack Week is uh, supervised learning. We do the linear regression. And 
multilayer perceptron regressor, and we see the root mean square error. We compared with the standard deviation of the amount of clarify in our data set. Mm, we also try something like the ridge regression, and we get the alpha based on turning the model. It's almost the same as linear regression, so we did not post the picture here. Um, we see that the root mean square error here is actually much smaller than the standard deviation of the clarify. So this still can give us some indication of we can almost uh, um, predict the clarify amount correctly. And we have the next one. So let's take away. Very briefly. Um, so we learned a couple of new things. Um, we learned about the um, the hot data and some of the machine learning algorithms, um, TSNE, and then of course how to push a notebook onto GitHub. Um, challenging rewarding things were task workflow, some unfamiliarity with the machine learning, um, and then some of the analysis tools, um, team collaboration, um, and then some aspects that we'll keep working on are finding biological species that are correlated with the identified nutrient clusters and more as we go on. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. That was that was. Super